All right, let's see what we got. Looks like new Spider-Man Far From Home trailer um, is out. So let's check it out, see what we got. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. Okay. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, very nice of you. Enjoy the trailer. Very nice of you. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. <laughs> Oh. I, I kick ass time, with that suit on well, no, the Spider-Man game. You doing your job. What? Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work because I am going on vacation. You're doing a better I job than the cops, by the way, Spider-Man. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk. But I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. What up, dorks? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh, I think MJ really likes me. I remember when I first fell in love. Tokenized him. <laughs> Wait a minute, Very man. Difficult. Like, I'm gonna save it for another video. I'm gonna save it for another video. I, I have my thoughts. Person to contact Spider Man. This. Is Mr. Beck. We could have used someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do. And you're coming with us. Okay, this is interesting. There's gotta be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. No, no, don't, don't, don't get hurt, whatever you do. Spider-Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. What do you want, Peter? I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. I always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? I gotta get you guys out of here! Get on the jet! Who are you? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. Um, now my thoughts on MJ. I give my thoughts on that for a different video. You already know where I'm going with that, so I'm gonna save it. But I thought this was was gonna be the route that they go. They were gonna when you start dealing with time travel and stuff like that. You. You, you end up with these paradoxes. You end up with this concept now they're going to run with seemingly, and that is the multiverse. That is, there's different Earths, there's different, um, get, again, versions of the same planet, if you will. And that's interesting because what that does is it, it gives them a new avenue to bring in new characters and this is the route I'm going to tell you right now. You probably heard it here first. Maybe you heard it here last. I don't know. But you heard it here first, according to me. Because I just thought about this after reacting to that. This is going to be an excuse that they can utilize to introduce new characters that are seemingly developed in which they are going to be brought into the same universe. Um, you can take that in whatever way that you may, depending on how they do that, is going to determine how I feel about it. But... What they said, the snap, like Fury said, tore a hole in the dimension. Now we got multiverses and such different timelines, probably all of that cool stuff. So what's going to end up happening is that they're going to be introducing new characters that are going to be far more established and developed that they don't develop. Right. So it's going to be a different ver bunch of different versions of um, Captain Marvel minus the shoehorn. 
And that's going to be interesting. I mean, you could still actually consider some of those. Uh, the people that they bring in are going to be shoehorns because they're going to be developed characters more than likely that they're just not going to be spending all of these movies growing new characters that they introduce. The excuse is going to be that they have been doing what they've been doing on different earths. Right. So that always, when you deal with time travel, man, it's always bringing in some weirdness, which is why I personally don't like it, but we'll see how um, the Marvel cinematic universe deals with this concept. Nonetheless, Spider-Man, take it in whatever way that you may. Um, I'll see some future trailers and kind of go from there. As far as my thoughts on whether or not I'm like stoked on it or not right now, I'm kind of just, I'm just indifferent with everything with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So let's see what happens. Until next time, man, y'all be easy.